For 154, we have a quadratic equation. It's h minus 16, and um, we have t minus 3. We have a square there, plus 150. Okay. Now, the one thing to keep in mind here is that <clears throat> there's certain rules about quadratic equations. Now, you may think, oh, what's a quadratic equation? It's usually when you have a power of 2, really, in, in an equation that looks like this. And um, this center here, where it says t minus 3, is a very, very, very important part of the quadratic, right? Um, a few things. First of all, because I have a minus here, it's first of all, a, para, a, a quadratic is something that looks either like that or like that, okay? It, because it has a negative here, I know that this quadratic has to be upside down, almost like it's, it's going to be this one. It's going to be this one because it's facing towards the negative side bottom it's looking down um, so when i look at this i instantly know that the graph needs to look like that right there's just a few things you need to know negative power like this it means it's upside down now the next thing you want to know is that this middle here because it says t minus 3 if you solve this making it t minus 3 equal to 0 it means t equal to 3 this tells me that the highest point because as you can see because it's upside down it has a it has a max point. The highest point is going to be t equal to 3. So I know this is going to be like 3. So t equal to 3. I know this is the max point. So if you read this question, it says very clearly, it says, um, at what height in feet is the object 2 seconds after it reaches its maximum height? It reaches its maximum height at 3. So 2 seconds after will be Two seconds after the max height, well, the max height is at three seconds. Two seconds after would just be, you just add two to it. So we're talking about the, f the five second mark, right? Is really what we're talking about. So again, if you don't know much about quadratic equations, it's going to be tough to really even understand a lot of the things this question is asking for. But those are the key things you need to worry about right now. Negative tells me it's upside down. And this inside is usually the one inside the parentheses with a square around it. If you solve the inside of that, it always tells you the max or the min. So like in this example, the other one, this one, this one would be the one with the positive. If this had been positive, if this had been positive 16, it would look like this. And they won't have asked for max height here. They will have asked for min because it's obviously a low. So the min spot will also be the result of you solving the inside of there. So anyway, back to our question here. So since we know the max height is at 3, and they ask for a time 2 seconds after, it would be 3 plus 2, which is 5. So we're talking about the fifth second mark. The question here is asking for the height at that point, the height at the fifth second, at 5 seconds. So all you have to do is just go back to this original equation, which is an h equation. This equation h tells you the height for any time. So it's going to be minus 16. And then this minus 3 there, this is 2, 150. Well, guess what? The time we care about right now is 5. The time we care about is 5 because it's the fifth second. Um, so we run that in there. That's going to be negative 16. This is 5 minus 2 is 2 squared plus 150. Yeah? 2 squared is 4 times the negative 16, which is going to be negative 64 plus 150. And if you add that all up or more like subtract it, you would get 86. Um, is that a meters? It's whatever the height is, 86 feet, 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 86 feet. So um, the answer there is B. So watch this video again because you want to be familiar with what I just said there. Um, because it's negative, I know it's upside down. I know that's the max point by solving this inside. Two seconds later will be five seconds. And then you throw that five in the original equation and you get 86 feet.